In 2004, while preparing for the building of a shopping center in Norwich, England, the remains of 17 people were found in a well several meters down. An archaeologist and his team were called in to recover the remains of the bodies. The team excavated the remains, which consisted of 11 children and six adults. The youngest child was just two years of age. The oldest was 15. Through years of research, it was found that the reason for the burial is unknown, but it is concluded that the bodies were most likely the result of mass murder or suicide to escape genocide. It is safe to assume that they were victims of a pogrom, which is another word for massacre. The way the skeletal remains are situated in the photo, they appear to have been thrown down the well head first. Carbon dating, bone isotopic analysis, facial reconstruction, and historical information were used to piece together what happened. The most obvious conclusion to make, death by disease, was quickly ruled out after analysis of the remains determined there was no evidence of any such illness. What was determined was that the event occurred in the Middle Ages, dating from 1150 to the 1300s. Upon deeper investigation, it was confirmed that the bodies would not have been discarded in such a manner for the communities that lived around the well at the time. These communities were Christian and Jewish. Some of the bones were tested for DNA. Five of the people had DNA consistent with Jewish communities and had lived in the local area for many years. Medieval Norwich was quite prosperous becoming the second city in the UK, only to London. Abounding medieval buildings were constructed, such as the Guild Hall, Dragon Hall, Strangers Hall, and St. Andrew's Hall. The Museum of Norwich at the Bridewell was originally a merchant's house in 1345 and later became the Bridewell, a house of correction for women and vagrants. The medieval city walls were created in 1297 and encircled 2.5 miles of the city with 12 defensive gates fortified with great catapults. Today, the ruins of the wall can still be seen. Norwich allowed immigrants from the Netherlands to migrate to Norwich. They had good ties with the Netherlands, which was prosperous in trade and cultural exchange during the 16th century. Protestants were persecuted in the Spanish Netherlands. These refugees from Europe were known as strangers and were mostly talented weavers by trade. They also brought yellow canaries to Norwich. One horrifying question of the find was, were the 17 alive? Originally, the excavation report mentions four fractures on 17 bodies one green stick fracture, which happens when a bone bends and cracks instead of breaking completely into separate pieces. Most green stick fractures occur in children younger than 10 years of age. Two fractures were healed and one possible fracture, nothing suggesting the injuries were obtained from a fall while alive. There is no evidence that they were thrown in the well while still breathing or that any had suffered the kind of violence that is to be expected from a pogrom leading up to death, being beaten through the streets or anything of that nature. In an unusually cruel act, the children were thrown in last so that they may have witnessed whatever happened to the adults before they were killed, if they were alive when they were thrown in the well. The adult bones show fractures caused by the impact of hitting the bottom of the well. This damage was not seen on the children's bones, which indicates that the adults cushioned the fall of their bodies. Another question that comes to mind is, were they actually Jewish? The only evidence for this claim is their DNA. Five of the bodies had retrievable DNA and they all came from the same family. The mitochondrial DNA, which is the DNA which is transferred down the maternal line, matches 
The issue here is proving that the DNA in question is Jewish beyond the shadow of a doubt. The five bodies were judged to have DNA consistent with 30% Ashkenazi Jewish descent. But that is DNA that is also found among the general European population, which is 7%. It is a smaller amount, but that is still a fact that has to be taken under consideration. Two bodies had typical European DNA sequences. Even so, it is taken for granted that the bodies were most likely Jewish, historically speaking. Norwich was home to a thriving Jewish community since 1135, who lived a few hundred yards from the well. Adding more credibility to the claim is the fact that the 13th century was a time of religious persecution for the Jewish community. The King of England invited Jewish people to England to lend money because at the time, the Christian interpretation of the Bible did not allow Christians to lend money and charge interest. This was regarded as a sin. Cash finance for big projects came from the Jewish community and some became very wealthy, which resulted in friction. The religious landscape also began to change during this time. Europe becomes more Christian, and as Europe becomes more Christian, the belief that Jewish people were evil resulted in the age of expulsions. The Jewish community had been investigated for supposedly murdering a Christian child in 1144, William of Norwich. This resulted in being one of the first and best documented cases of the blood libel. In 1190, there is contemporary evidence of massacres against the Jews of Norwich. Since it is assumed that the remains are Jewish, in 2014, 800 years later, after long negotiations, the local Jewish community took possession of the bodies and buried them in consecrated ground. Whether or not they are actually Jewish, they deserve a proper burial. May their souls rest in peace. All of this is alleged. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.